Hey everyone! Today we are going to talk about Chavacano pronouns. This will be the first of the several videos covering pronouns due to the number of topics under it. Pronouns per se is a word that refers to a noun. It can also be a substitute to a noun, especially in a conversation or anything where you are discussing about something or someone. Just imagine telling a story and you have to repeat the name of the person over and over again. Chavacano pronouns is as wide as any other languages. You may sometimes notice the same sentence but has a relatively different meaning depending on the pronoun used. To make this easy, we will start with pronouns used as part of the subject. Next, we'll discuss it as part of the object. Then, we'll go into possessive pronouns. Aside from that, we also have reflexive, reciprocal, demonstrative, interrogative, and indefinite pronouns which we will discuss in a different video. By the way, all of these are based from a study made by Dr. Jose Genaro R. Yap Aizon, published in the Zamboanga Chavacano Structure and Grammar. I'm going to leave a link in the description below to this document should you wish to review on your own. The first of the subject pronoun is the first person pronoun, I. Its translation is yo. Let's check these examples. Yo carga con el saco de arroz. Tiene yo cosa habla. The second person pronoun, you, has several variations in Chavacano depending on who you're using it. We have tu, usted, vos, vo, e vos, e vo. Let's start with tu. Commonly, this is widely used when speaking with someone who is older than you. It is also used when someone you're talking to is close to you like a friend or a family, or maybe someone you just met. Example, Kanta tu manyana na Plaza Pershing. Pwede tu abaha un rato? The next one is puste. Just like tu, this is also used when talking to an older person or someone who is close in acquaintance to you. Example, Tiene uste oportunidad bula para na Estados Unidos. Uste ba ella baila anoche? The second person pronouns in singular form, vos, vo, e vos, and e vo, are generally restricted or are commonly being used among very close friends and is interchangeably being used with tu. When used to someone older, the speaker is considered as being disrespectful or without manners. In other cases, vo, vos, e vos, and e vo are used when the speaker is mad or angry. Example, Tiene vo lapis? Or, Tiene vos lapis? And both means, do you have a pencil? The next one is, E vo el numero uno de la year? Or, E vos el numero uno de la year? Which translates to, you were number one yesterday. L or le, S or C, este or te are considered as third person pronouns. L or le could either mean he or she. These are not gender specific which means you can use this interchangeably regardless if the third person is a male or a female. Example, when we say, El ya compra con el comida, it can either be, he bought the food, or she bought the food. Ayandale na iglesia. This can mean, he will go to church, or she will go to church. Do take note, when constructing sentence, ele can be used before or after the action word, while le is only used after an action word. So we don't say, le ya compra con el comida, but, ele ya compra con el comida. And for the second one, ay anda le na iglesia, ay anda ele na iglesia. In short, ele can be used in place of le, but never the other way around. Ese or se is also interchangeably used. This one means that. Just like ele and le, ese can be used in place of se, but never the other way around. 
Example, SL di amon opisina. Pwede ese usa na kusina. Or it can also be, pwede se usa na kusina. And both will still mean the same thing. The last of the third person pronoun in singular form is este or te. Both means this or it. Example, Esta invención tiene grande ayuda. Bien grande te contra del otro año. Or, Bien grande este contra del otro año. And both means it's bigger than last year. We has two forms in Chavacano depending on the usage. Kita is used when the listener or the one you're talking to is included, while kami is used when the listener is not included. Example, when we say, we are going to build a new house. If the listener is included, I construi kita nuevo casa. And when the listener is not included, I construi kami nuevo casa. The first of the second person is kamo. It is the equivalent of vos and e vos in plural. Example, Ianda ka mo na paseo del mar del lunes? Ustedes and vosotros are also second person pronouns. They are the plural form of usted. Example, Guardia ustedes con el estatua or Guardia vosotros con el estatua. Our third person pronoun in plural form is sila. This has the same meaning as used in Tagalog. Example, Ay alza sila con el dilalapis una vez acabao. And, Lleleva sila mosquitero. We also have pronouns in the objective case. And these are the following. Conmigo, or you will sometimes hear this as comigo, is our first person pronoun in object case. This means me. Example, I am the visita comigo el mga bata na viernes. The second person pronoun you has several variations in object case. The first one is con usted, which is used to refer to someone who is older. Example, Si Lorenzo ay imbia bagahe con usted na lunes. The next one is contigo, which refers to someone you know. This can also be used to someone who is older. Example, Si Lorenzo ay anda contigo mañana tarde. The third and fourth variation, con vos and con vo, can alternately be used. These are used to refer to someone who is very close to you or people at the same age. When used to someone older, the speaker is considered to be rude or disrespectful. On the other hand, angry or mad person tend to use this regardless of who they are talking to. Example, El ay conversa con vos mañana. Third person pronoun in object case are con ele, con ese, con este, and con aquel. Con ele refers to persons and could either mean feminine or masculine. Ay visita yo con ele na marzo. Con ese refers to things that is not currently in your possession but is present and within close proximity. This is the equivalent for it or that. Example, Ay lleva yo con ese para con Maria. Con este refers to things that is currently in your possession and is present and within close proximity. This is the equivalent for it or this. Example, Tiene yo con este cosa hace. Con aquel refers to things that is not present anymore. This one is another equivalent for it. Example, Grande senyo con aquella puede hace. Kanamon is used when the listener or the person you're talking to is not included, while kanatun is used when the listener is included. Let's say, she will talk to us after class. When the listener is not included, I conversa ele kanamon después de clase. And 
if the listener is included, ay conversa ele ka natun después de klase. Second person object pronouns referring to the listener, we use con ustedes, con vosotros, or caninyo. Con ustedes and con vosotros can be used interchangeably. When you want to say, Carlo will sleep over with you tomorrow, you can say, I dormi con ustedes si Carlo mañana, or I dormi con vosotros si Carlo mañana. Caninio is used when the person you're talking to is close to you or someone you personally know, though con ustedes is still preferred. Example, I dormi caninio si Carlo mañana. Canila, con esos, con estos, con aquellos are third person object pronouns. Canila is another term for them. Example, yo dale aviso si Jen canila ayer. Con esos, con estos, and con aquellos are the plural equivalent of con ese, con este, and con aquel, respectively. Here are other variations of our previous examples. Ay lleva yo con esos para con Maria. Tiene yo con estos cosa hace. Grandes sen yo con aquellos ya puede hace. Chavocano also have possessive pronouns. Here are the English ones. And here are their Chavacano counterparts. Mine's equivalent in Chavacano is de mío or mío. Example, de mío este casa or mío este casa. Tuyo, de tuyo, de ustedes, and de vosotros. This yours variation will depend on how many you're talking to. Tuyo or de tuyo is used when referring to only one person while the ustedes and the vosotros are used when referring to many. Example, when you want to say, those are your phones. When talking to a single person, we say, de tuyo se mga telefono, or tuyo se mga telefono. And when referring to a bunch of people, we say, de ustedes se mga telefono, or de vosotros se mga telefono. The suyo and suyo are equivalent of his or hers. There's no gender specific to this pronoun, so you can use it to anyone. Example, the suyo se proyecto, or suyo se proyecto. The aton and the amon are equivalent of ours. The aton is when the person we're talking to is included, while the amon is when the listener is not included. Example, when we want to say, that is our school, if the listener is included, we say, ese el diaton escuela. And if the listener is excluded, we say, ese el diamon escuela. The ila is the Chavacan equivalent for theirs. Example, the ila ese mga staff toys. We are temporarily stopping here for the first part of our Chavacano pronouns. On our next video, we will continue with the remaining ones. Let me know your aha moments in the comments below. As always, this is Chris. Vamos aprender Chavacano.